In this video, we are going to learn how you can protect your TutorLMS powered e-learning website with the authentication features provided by TutorLMS. So let's get started. Okay, so we're here in our WordPress dashboard. We also have TutorLMS Pro installed because those advanced protections are available in TutorLMS Pro version. You can get TutorLMS Pro at discount from the link and coupon provided in this video's description. To enable TutorLMS security options, you can simply hover your mouse over TutorLMS Pro or you can click over here. After that, search for settings. It should be located down here. Click on it. Now you are going to see this screen. To activate advanced security protections, we are going to click on this authentication tab. Here you can see there are various methods for authentication. The first one is the two-factor authentication. The second one is the fraud protection. The third one is manage active login sessions. The fourth one is the email verification. And finally, we have some social logins. If you enable this, it will allow your users to log in using their uh, Google, Facebook and Twitter account. Okay. But we will look at this later on. First, let's enable our two-factor authentication feature. To enable two-factor authentication or 2FA, you can simply click on this button over here and two more options will pop out. So the first one is the method. So if you click on this drop-down over here, you can see currently there's only email verification available. So we're going to click on email. Next, we have to select the location. So the location is the place where you want your two-factor authentication to be available. So if we click on this drop-down over here, you can see there are three options. Tutor login, WP login, tutor and WP login. So if you enable tutor login, it will add the two-factor authentication on the tutor login page only. And if you enable the WP login, it will add the 2FA only in the WordPress admin login. For maximum protection, you can select tutor and WP login. Or if you want only WP login or only tutor login, you can select either one. Okay, so we are going to select tutor and WP login for maximum protection. Now, if we click on save changes, our two-factor authentication will be activated. But before you go ahead and check if your two-factor authentication is working, make sure your email is verified. To do that, scroll down and click on settings over here. On the screen, you must check your email address that you entered is correct. Also, if it's possible, try to verify that your email address is working or not. If you're not sure that your email address is verified or not, then I suggest um, not using the two-factor authentication at all. Okay, so if you're not sure that your uh, email address is correct, disable the two-factor authentication. Okay, to disable this, you can simply go back to the settings from Tutor LMS, then click on authentication and disable it all the way. But since we have activated, so let's see if this is working. So we're going to hover our mouse over here and click on log out. So we have logged out of our account. So now let's go back to our WordPress dashboard. So we're here in our WordPress dashboard. Let's enter our username and password. As you can see, we are seeing a message that says we have sent an email to your registered email address with an OTP code. Please collect the OTP code and enter here to complete your login process. Let's find out the OTP code in our email inbox and enter here. Then click on the submit button. As you can see, we have logged back into our WordPress dashboard and our two-factor authentication is working perfectly. So let's go back to our authentication tab. So I'm going to hover my mouse over to TutorLMS Pro and select settings. From here, I'm going to select authentication. So there are more options over here. The fraud protection. You can enable this if you want. 
Enabling the fraud protection option will help you protect your website from spammers and bots. Currently there are um, three options, the Honeypot, Google ReCAPTCHA version 2, Google ReCAPTCHA version 3. Currently Google ReCAPTCHA version 3 is the best one so I'm going to select this one. And then you need to put in your version 3 site key and version 3 secret key. So how you can get this uh, version 3 site key and version 3 secret key, we will link the documentation down below. You can read and find out. Okay. So the next one is the location where you want to enable the fraud protection. So we want to only put it in tutor login and tutor registration. You can also put it to WP login and WP registration if you want. Okay. So if we scroll down, the other option is the limit active login sessions. So you can actually control how many uh, login sessions that will go on. Okay. So if we enable this, you can uh, toggle the maximum active sessions. So we can allow the maximum session to let's say two. So the number you set here will dictate how many active sessions you will allow a student to have. For example, we have set two here. This means a student can be logged into a maximum of two devices for your e-learning site. So it completely depends on you how much you set your maximum active sessions to. Okay. If we scroll down, there is the email verification. We can also enable this. You can enable this option if you wish to activate email verification during the sign up process for new student or instructor accounts. Okay, so after you select all this, make sure you click on the save changes to save your progress. Now, if we scroll down, you can see there are some social logins here as well. If you don't see this, this means that you haven't enabled your add on. This is basically an add on, and to enable this, scroll up and find add ons from Tutor LMS Pro. So, here is add ons. So here are the add-ons. Now simply scroll down and find the social logins. If this is disabled, you can enable this to use this feature. So let's go back to our authentication tab. From here you can enable these options to allow your users to log in using their Google, Facebook or Twitter account. So to get the information such as the client ID, Facebook app ID, app Twitter app key, app secret key. We will link uh, documentation down below. You can read it to know how you can put in your app key, app ID key and the Google client ID key. Enabling the social login feature will simplify the sign in process for the e-learning site users. Okay, so after you're done, you can simply click on save changes and that's it. So this is how you can make your Tutor LMS powered website more secure by utilizing the plugins built in authentication features. If you like this video, give it a like, comment on it if you have any questions and subscribe to our channel because it encourages us to make more helpful videos like this one. Thank you for watching.